what happens if you judge as you go in a brainstorming session? You know, permit the kind of conversation that says, well, that would never work, or we tried that last year. It sounds like it'd be awfully expensive. What happens if you do that? It, it, it stops everybody. It inhibits people. It's, it's critical, and people withdraw or pull back. Nobody wants to have their ideas criticized, but if it's an open forum where it's clear that this is just for the generation of ideas and later on they're going to be judged, perhaps by us, perhaps by someone else, you get a chance to feel a little bit freer, a little bit more open. Criticism is the killer of more brainstorming sessions than anything else. And you can inhibit it by first setting those kind of ground rules. Number two, by the people you invite who want to be there and aren't inherently critical. And then having somebody, a facilitator or someone else, monitor that and not let people get away with all kinds of critical comments. Here's a collection of them that I've picked up over the years. We've tried that, take too much time, cost too much. Maybe next year our customers would never go for that. They'll never buy that. These people don't count. That's not how we do things here at XYZ Industries. We don't have enough time right now. Every one of those has a dampening, deadening effect on what good can come out of a session. All right, what to do about that? Well, a couple tricks, things that work. Number one, try to get agreement early on that you're going to have these rules of the road that you're not going to criticize. Try to get everybody to buy into that charter, that covenant for the group. OK, you try. Because at least if you've said it, then I can come back to Dr. Naysayer and say, you know, you, you, you may be right. That could be too difficult or whatever technically to achieve that. But in the spirit of the session, remember we agreed before we weren't going to criticize. So let, let's move on. Most people get it. For those that don't, Here's a technique that works very well. After somebody's been asked not to do that, but has succeeded in criticizing yet another idea, someone, ideally the moderator, the facilitator, comes and says, David, uh, you know, you kind of wandered off the, off the reservation there. That was a pretty critical comment. And uh, the fact that, that April over here is in tears may have something to do with your vicious commentary. But then what you do is say, David, so we, we, that idea is kind of clobbered. Since you knocked that out of the box, do something for me. Replace it with two new ideas of your own. Would you do that for us, please? <laughs> now, it's mildly confrontational to do that. Mildly. But in the spirit of brainstorming, most people quickly get the idea that if they do go ahead and criticize somebody else's, they're going to be asked to substitute not one but two for it. So a little con mild mild confrontation works wonders on everybody else. And often, the fact that Dave has been that critical person, he may be just ready to, OK, I'm ready. I'll give you one. I've, I've got. That's fine. That's fine. But you've made the point. Sometimes it is necessary to engage people that way and say, hold on. The rules say we want everybody to contribute. And therefore, everybody's ideas are valuable. What can we combine? Here's a fun illustration. What could we combine? Here's an interesting one. Band-Aids with antibiotic right on the pad. For generations, moms faced with a kid who scraped his or her knee did what? First addressed the, the, the upset child, and there's this bleeding scrape or scratch, whatever. What's the first thing mom wants to do to the scrape? Clean it up. Put what on it? Peroxide. Did somebody say bleach? No. I didn't. I didn't hear bleach, did I? Uh, Neosporin is what I mean. Yes, that's what you meant. I just, my ears are playing tricks on me. Clean it out, and then do what? Then get a Band-Aid. So it's two steps. Here, one step. There's antibiotic right on the pad. More expensive than traditional Band-Aids? Oh, of course. But worth it, because we'll pay for convenience. What is this? A healthy combination understanding how the customer uses your product. There's a real lesson there. Crawl inside the actual life experience of how is it used. The Band-Aid doesn't exist in isolation. It's always with peroxide, neospore, and something else, and then the Band-Aid. The breakthrough idea was, well, what if we combine them? What could you combine?